You don't believe it's so out of this world that we might have a Republican presidency? Yeah, I think it's uh, very possible because we're in a different ball game. Um, they had a phrase back in 1992, the Clinton people, which said, it's the economy, stupid. I think the Trump people today need to be saying, it's the Fed, stupid. The reason that Trump is unexpectedly uh, doing so well in this election campaign is that flyover America, that whole white area that was on the cover of my book, is hurting and hurting badly because of the negative impact of Fed policies. 2% inflation targeting is a job and wage destroyer. 0% interest rates for 93 months is a retirement uh, hit of enormous magnitude. Massive monetary uh, uh, stimulus and uh, bond buying is basically turned the stock market into a casino and the C-suites of America, the executives, uh, basically into stock pumping operations. David, what's They've sent, Trump proposing as an alternative, though? Pardon? What's Trump proposing concretely as an alternative? Well, the first thing that Trump finally said is that uh, he pointed out uh, the elephant in the room. He said that this is a phony market, it's a false economy, and Janet Yellen should be ashamed of herself. Finally, someone called attention to the core of the problem, which is the Federal Reserve. It's created massive wealth for the bi uh, coastal elites. It's created enormous bubbles. This market is crazy today at its current value, 25 times trailing uh, earnings when earnings are falling and sooner or later we're going to have a recession. So therefore, the start of wisdom on this is to go after the heart of the problem, which is the Federal Reserve and call them out for policies that only help Wall Street and punish so he, seriously so, so he, he, uh, flyover America. He has called them out, but what do you make of the rigor of his argument thus far? Recently, he said that uh, the Fed was acting at the behest of the Obama administration, keeping interest rates low. You look at his economic plans, they haven't been that well fleshed out. Yeah. Uh, this is a candidate who could be doing more I think you might admit, to, to flesh out his economic No, I, I agree with that, and I think as time goes on, and if he's elected, it will be fleshed out, but we're basically going to have chaos, and the market better wake up to that. There will be a Washington totally divided in conflict, because for the first time, the fundamental policies of the last 30 years are being challenged. And I don't think there's going to be any smooth transition. I think, finally, the vaunted independence of the Fed is going to be challenged frontally. Finally, uh, Congress is going to wake up and realize that workers and retirees uh, throughout America are being punished by this policy and that Wall Street is totally out of control. David, I guess picking up on what Vonnie was saying, though, how, how, do you, how, does, how would a president do that? I mean, you, you've had members of Congress saying the Fed needs to be audited, for instance, right. or more needs to be done, but you have an organization that is supposed to be run apolitically. How do you change what it's doing, what it's supposed to be doing? Well, I think uh, it, you have to uh, take control. Okay, uh, there is no such thing as the independence of the Federal Reserve. It is entirely a political institution. Why in the world are they fr afraid to raise interest rates after 93 months well, the, when the, the vice chair? weak. Well, wait a minute. When the uh, when the chairman, uh, vice chairman of the Fed, says that we're at full employment. Okay, that is political in a profound way. So, the Coast thing, to, but the, the Fed chair does say the slack still, and a lot of the members say the slack in the employment market. Well, the, the point is, they can't do anything about the slack that's there. That's structural. That's, uh, that needs to be addressed by supply-side policies. That needs to be addressed by uh, renewed incentives for investment. We're not getting any investment. Real net uh, business investment today, after depreciation, is 20% lower than it was in the year 2000. Uh, we have no, uh, you know, uh, breadwinner jobs that have been created in the last 10 or 15 years, just part-time jobs. So my point is, the uh, if they're going to, if we're going to change direction, uh, and we get a new president, and it's not Hillary Clinton, then someone needs to tell Janet Yellen, you're done, you're finished. You have wrecked this, and your people have wrecked uh, this uh, economy. You ought to resign, and we're going to put in a new slate of people that are going to run uh, the central bank in a way that's compatible with uh, productive capitalism. Well, let's look at the